I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna put my thing in there. I'm gonna apply it in here. Then I'm gonna roll in. Sometimes, if it's very little hair, it dries out before. Mm -hmm. You have to break it up and put it on again. <laughs> Good morning, guys. My name is Yurio. I'm actually a professional international hairstylist. I travel all around USA doing classes in education, so I promote a lot of classes as far as color, extensions, haircuts, and um, I have a lot of uh, web pages that you guys could look up. I mean, I'm on I'm on YouTube under Woody Alda Angel of Beauty. I'm on Facebook around Woody Alda Angel of Beauty. And my personal is Uriel Corona, so you guys can add me there and, and, and see what I what I do, where I'm at, what we're promoting, or what we're doing. Um, what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be doing a demo on hair okay. All right, so you guys know what keratin is, right? Yeah. What is it? Huh? Protein. Animal protein? I grow hair and I'm not an animal. <laughs> That's my human protein. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, it's actually a protein, but keratin is the actual name for a protein. The difference between uh, one or another is that we grow it and the other one has been produced. Okay, so I'm going to be very honest. We haven't had anybody being allergic to our keratin because it's organic. You know that the sap that comes out from the trees? Mm -hmm. That's where we make it from. Eventually, it's going to heat up a little bit more. It's going to start producing this tea scent smell. Which to me, that's the smell of money, right? Because of course, we charge for extensions. And uh, um, for me, it's very important for you guys to know what it is. Very simple. The sap from the trees, it's been processed and has been crystallized. Whenever we heat it up, we apply it in the heater. Um, we apply it in there, we dip the hair in, into here, and we come and apply it on the hair. It's very simple. Well, the benefit on that for me is this. If she needs... 20 strands on, on her head, I'm going to be able to give her the size of the strands that she needs. But if she needs 10, I'm going to be able to give her the size compared to a tip that already has it or a cylinder that I might not be able to fit as much hair in it, you know. So the other benefit for me is that the cylinder, whenever you guys um, get a cylinder, it's round, right? Automatic. It's like this. I press the hair inside and I place it down and it becomes a rectangle, right? It's holding in here. Mm -hmm. Automatically you keep moving. So this is going to flip and it's not going to be able to come back. The next morning it's going to flip again and it's not going to be able to come back. The next morning it's flipping again until it starts pulling your hair out. So I don't want that to happen because it's going to start ripping off hair. What we have created automatically with this one, you can create a cylinder put it in the hair and automatically it fits the cylinder it's gonna roll it's gonna come back it's gonna roll it's gonna come back you're gonna have less breakage you're gonna have your full-on set of hair nothing's gonna happen to your roots i don't know if you guys seen people with extensions they have like little tiny edb ball spots like, what's going on it's not alopecia it's extensions <laughs> okay so we have been able to reduce that by doing cylinders on the application Okay, so for me, that's a lot better. I mean, I have a lot of clients. I have a client that's been wearing extensions for six, seven, eight years. And we started when her hair was up to here. Her hair's now about right here, but she still wants extensions. We've reduced the, the amount of it, but she still wants to get it. So if we had those type of clients, and if we were to put another type of extensions, she might not even have hair by now. Because of the movement of the hair. I mean, everybody who has long hair notice that whenever they leave their hair long, it tangles on the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because you guys keep moving, keeps running, keeps running, keeps on moving. It's normal. So we need to find something that's going to help us out, okay? So um, this is very simple. It's a crystallized protein. The crystallized protein will automatically melt on the heat, but it will not melt whenever you apply, let's say, a curling iron, a flat iron, or a blow dryer. Because it is 450, but you're not going to maintain it there for 15 minutes. You see what I mean? So there's a difference in between. A lot of my customers are like, oh, babe, if you're going to do that to me, and I want to curl my hair, I'm going to melt them down, they're going to come off. No. Because you have to maintain the heat in there. You see what I mean? So um, this one, it's already melted. I don't know if you guys can see it. I, want, I, I can't tilt it so much because it's a little liquidy. Okay? This is a clear one. We produce um, black and red and clear. I like to use the clear most of the time because if I use the red one, I have to clean it. <laughs> if I use the black one, I have to clean it because if I was to do a blonde person, I have to clean it out really good. Otherwise, you're going to see a black patch and we don't want that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
So what we need to do, yes, I have a question for you. What if you put it on a spot that you don't want it? How do you remove it? We're going to show you how to do that too. I'm going to do two on this side and two on the other side, okay? So you guys can see. Okay, for her, I'm just going to give her like a little pick -a on the bottom so you, we could see what we're doing. I like to separate. I'm going to separate this section. I'm going to try to do it in a circle. I don't, I like to use, when I do demos, I don't use separators because I want you guys to see the full on application. Compared to when we're in the class, we do use applicators. It's a lot safer for the client and it's a lot safer for you too. Okay? But whenever we do demos, I want you guys to look at the application. Okay? When we have the separator, it's not that you're not going to look. It is, you don't see the distance between the, the um, roots and the hair that you're applying. Okay. okay. Yes. When you're saying separation, is it the white, the white little? We have some like round ones. Mm -hmm. It's a plastic, um, and it prevents you from burning your client, and it prevents you from getting hair all around. Uh -huh. It's really good. I highly suggest you guys to use it. At the beginning, maybe if you guys um, want to do a whole, a whole um, hair, it may take you like five to nine hours. You know, because you know you've done it. My guy, he does square spaces next to each other because he's doing beads. Does it matter if he's doing beads or if he's Yes, the problem on the bead, like I said, that's why they're doing squares because uh -huh. it's going to become a, a rectangle. And there's the round ones as well, though. Yeah, but whenever you press it, place it down, it becomes Flatten. a half flattened. So it becomes a square or a rectangle. But that's why they section a rectangle. So it will not be able to, like, you know what I'm saying? But we have the same procedure when it keeps on growing. It's going to flip to one side and it's going to come back. No. What I don't like about those is that you have to check on the client every so often. The client has to come at least once yes. a month yeah. or every three weeks. I could leave this on for it. My mom has been using her hair for six months. And I do check on her. I'm like, oh, yeah, you have a bad It's going it to end. Break. It doesn't, doesn't break. It's boyfriend proof. <laughs> 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 you guys know what I mean. <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. Okay, what I did today is I brought in um, hair that's been um, cheated or, or um, dyed or something. Um, a while ago, I used to teach on how to do designs on hair with mm -hmm. color. This is all color and it's handmade. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off from here and apply it in there because on the class we do teach you guys how to apply tape. There's tape and keratin. So there's two different tech, um, applications and three different techniques for each um, application. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna separate this strand of hair. She's gonna be a cheetah girl. Twist it together, come over here, cut it. I'm gonna put this one over here. Take off the excess. I'm gonna open it like a fan. There's a bar in the center. I'm gonna come dip it in here. And remove the excess. I'm gonna come over here and apply. Does it hurt? No. You sure? Okay. And you're just applying with your fingers without yeah. any tools? You're not burning your hand? He just applied and rolled. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 feel it. You guys want to touch it? The extension, please, not a lady. <laughs> oh, wow. Interesting. Did you, when, you, it, when it was flat, you rolled around yeah. your cylinder. Yes. You have to pick the cylinder, otherwise, it's going to have to get flat in any way. Would you prefer this method or the, 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 the strip method? How do you feel about the tape? The, the thing is, there's um, different types of hair. We're going to work different things. That's why they're the same. Oh my god, yeah. I'm going to and then what's the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell her, oh, I'm going to texturize your hair. I'm going to glue your hair. They're like, what is that? Oh, I'm going to make holes in between. Please don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And then if I was to come to the client and say, hi, honey, I'm going to give you some texture where you're going to be able to blow dry hair a lot easier. It's going to be a lot softer. Oh, yeah. Do you charge extra for that? Oh, yeah, 15 bucks. <laughs> we don't. You know what I'm saying? But so it's, it's different. So imagine you come to, oh, I'm going to do your glue extensions. You're going to glue hair to my hair? Okay. No, keratin. 
Do you guys sell it? We do. We do. But I'm going to be very honest. You have to take the class in order for you to be able to work it out because there's a system on how to do it. Right. We've, we've had, throughout the years, there's a lot of people that want to do extensions and they think they already know how to do it. And all of a sudden, they come in. I wanted to take your class and I didn't um, because my son got sick and I'm like, it's fine, you know, there's going to be more classes. But I went and got head and I bought some keratin and I put it on my client and now her hair is like mugged up together. <laughs> uh, so you didn't come to the class, huh? No. Um, so there's a specific sizes that we need to measure on the head and different applications for the head in order for us to be able to provide our customer with that hurting their hair it does get tangled sometimes but that's if the person is not taking care of the extension I mean come on the hair is already dead you know we need to have more protein in there we need to have more stuff so I'm gonna apply another one and I'm gonna remove one how long does it take oh. to cool down to cool down yeah. seconds by the time I get it from here to there because okay. mm -hmm. so sometimes um, a lot of people go and they use a spoon <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh and that burns. Because that's, not, it's too much to, to cool down. Okay. So here we go again. Come here, I'm going to cut it. Clean off the excess. I'm going to open it like a fan. I'm going to dip it into the bar. Take off the excess. By this time I already have my section separated. I'm going to come over here. Try it or press on it. And I'm going to create a cylinder. Some of these ones, what do you guys think? Simple, huh? Can I try? <laughs> it's boyfriend proof, so if you pull on it, it's not going to come off. Already. But it hurts. Mm -hmm. But it does hurt. Well, come on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tiny one, so I'm going to break this one off. I'm going to pulverize it. I'm going to separate from where the growth is, her natural hair. And I'm gonna separate it. Oh, oh so God. easy. No. Yeah. You wanna touch my hands? Pulverize. Yeah. Pulverize. No. The best part about this one is this. The clients come to the salon to get uh, trims, right? So let's say she's gonna come two or three months later after I did the extensions and she's gonna say, Well, they're growing about an inch already. You know, I'm flat ironing in it too much, I'm getting it, you know? Okay. It's fine. Let's trim your hair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the part. I don't want that keratin anymore. It's been heated. It's been applied. It's no good anymore. It might melt down again and it might hold in there too. But it's not going to have the same res consistency or resistance anymore. So I give her a trim. But in this case, <laughs> the trim is on the top. You see what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to come over here and I could... Remove that part, give her a wash. You know what I mean? We have a um, alkaline shampoo. It's a purifying shampoo. That what it does, it actually cleanses, but doesn't leave your, heart, your hair hard or, or brittle or anything like that. It leaves it shiny and really soft. I love it. It's really good. So I come over here again. I wash her hair already because we took them off. And I'm doing, a, I'm, I'm just doing her a trim, right? Because she needs to. They were right here probably. And I just need to. Reuse the hair because the hair that we have is reusable. So if you maintain this hair in good condition, you could reuse it again. Yes, and so after you pulverize and take it out, you said you could just wash out the hair. We, 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 we have to, we have to, but it just easily washes. Yes, oh, wow. after let's say she has it on for like two, three months, yeah. you might get more stickiness on it, but it's normal. So you okay. just open it in the middle and you're set to go. Ready? Did you, did you guys know what I meant? Yes, yes. yes. We're going to have a hair color class. The hair color class is in Spanish because I'm bringing a lady. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you guys know who Teresa Morales. Well, Teresa Morales is called the queen of color. And she teaches classes all around uh, Mexico and USA. But she only speaks um, Spanish. So we've united forces. And we, we start doing classes on hair color. She teaches you how to remove... Um, Fantasy colors without bleach. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to texturize. I'm not cutting. If you guys notice, I'm not cutting directly because I'm going to hurt her hair. I don't want that to happen. I want it to look natural and natural. Okay? 
I don't know if you guys have seen probably walking on the mall and you guys see this girls with extensions and you could totally tell their extensions they're like yeah uh -huh. damn girl you need to like create some holes in the middle <laughs> so we don't want to <laughs> questions girls and I hate when they show the beads. Oh my god. That's I know. So I know. I know. I'm with you on You're doing good, girl? Yeah. She's like, I don't want to be a model. She was saying, her. My mother. <laughs> she wants extensions, that's why. Not a uh, wig. <laughs> Do you have a boyfriend? Husband. <laughs> well, now you're going to get a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> they're lined up. They're lined up, huh? What do you guys think? Beautiful. Very nice. And like I said, they're boyfriend proof. Or husband proof. Mm -hmm. so we can actually do a lot of stuff with this. I mean, you could create highlights. You could create pick up. And guess what? The best part about the highlights is that they all come the same color. You don't have to turn them down. You don't have to wait extra. It's really nice. Back in the days, we used to do the ombres or the balayages with extensions. Because that was the only thing that would match up. <laughs> the color is really nice. You know, we just leave it a little longer. That's it. And you, you'll have longer hair, nicer, cuter. I have my up and my thing in there. I'm going to apply it in here. Then I'm going to roll it. Sometimes, if it's very little hair, it dries out before. Mm -hmm. You have to break it up and put it on again. Mm-hmm. There's another application where we open the hair and we put it in the middle. We've noticed that a lot of the clients that had it on, they will brush their hair and automatically poof, it will split open. So we decided not to do it anymore because it was wasting hair. It was wasting money. And then another thing is this one. When the client is paying for a service, we got to give them their service. You know, we can't lie about it or no. Let's be through to yourself. Like, I, I have a couple of times. It's... it's you know, happen where bleach blends or it bleeds or, you know, there's a stain in there. And I'm looking at it and I said, honey, I stained you here. Let me show you in the mirror. It's not noticeable because I know because I do hair. But people out there are not going to notice. What do you want me to do? You want me to cover it up or you want it even like that? Ah, yeah, it's fine. Most of them, they don't even care because they like to see here. Not a hole here, hole here. Nothing like that. So, but this is the scenario. She's going to go to her home, and her husband's going to look at the thing. You have a stain there. Oh, yeah, he told me he wanted to fix it, but I didn't want to. I wanted to just come up. Oh, okay, honey, no worries. But if I didn't tell her, her husband could come and like, girl, look, you have this thing right here. Oh, my God, where? Is that what I give you money for? Is that what you're paying for? Don't go to him anymore. You know? One mistake. You could do 20,000 times the right service or the right thing do one mistake and they're like so long you know why because they're not faithful most of the clients you have to keep on faithful and educate them the way you want to okay i'm gonna come over here again have the application put it in there and then i'm gonna roll it in on top, you put it on, on the bottom, but you gotta roll in. You gotta create a cylinder so if it moves, it goes back to its regular shape. Do you guys know why there's no lawsuits against haircuts? No? Because the evidence erases in three days. <laughs> Your hair grows. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a people person. If you call me, I'll try to answer. I know you look so familiar. I don't know from where, but you look so familiar. Yeah. Um, so if sometimes I don't answer, send me a text message, leave me a voicemail, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like